how we doing? Hope you had an amazing Thursday. Just wanted to give you a little information on today's episode. I went to Collector's Cove again today. Got a few more things, some singles that I needed from a set. A couple packs. They're just awesome guys over there. Make sure their Facebook page. The link's right here in the description. I also got some mail from Missouri Cards. Great YouTube channel. Does a lot of giveaways. Make sure you check him out. He's only at 52 subscribers. So let's get his number up. Let's try and get him to 100. His information is down there as well. We also have the studs and duds from last night. Unfortunately, we had a couple guys competing for the dud spot for the second or even the third time this season. Willie Adames, I'm looking at you. But the duds, I think, might surprise you. They surprised me until I looked at the statistics. Um, so we have another jam-packed episode for you. Make sure you stick around, leave some comments below, get entered in the April giveaway for the month, and you can be like Joe Babcock and win a pack all your own. So without further ado, let's head into studs and duds. Hope you had an amazing Thursday. Here's to an amazing Thursday night. It's time for another episode of studs and duds. Today's stud pitcher could have gone several different directions. There were a lot of pitchers who really threw the ball well yesterday. German Marquez for the Rockies, Carlos Rodon from the White Sox, Matt Shoemaker for the Blue Jays threw it well again, Jamison Tyon, Mike Miner, even though he got some help from the umpire. A lot of good pitching performances. I was torn between Jacob deGrom, who struck out a career-high 14, and who I ultimately went with, Freddie Peralta, who against the Reds, a 1-0 victory through eight innings, gave up just two hits, no runs, no walks, 11 strikeouts. Really good performance by him. This card is a 1983 insert from 2018 Tops Update. Really like this insert set. I like the headshot, kind of framed in the bottom, you know, with the action shot behind it. Just really nice, really clean, really enjoy them. Now, as far as the dud pitcher goes, again, we had a lot of contenders. Trevor Rosenthal was under consideration again after he pitched one more time and again did not get an out. We also had Corey Kluber under consideration, which is kind of surprising. But Aaron Nola is going to be the pick. Again, someone who you would not expect to be a dud pitcher. He got the no decision in a 9-8 to eight loss to the Nationals through just three innings. Gave up five hits, six runs. All of them were earned. Walked two and struck out two, surrendering three home runs in those three innings. Just never really seemed to get comfortable in the contest. This card here is a 2016 Bowman. It's his rookie card. Bowman was really coming into their own starting in 2016. I felt like they got away from... You know, the not working very hard of the 2010s, 2011s, where the cards either bent or the backs just said this is a card of so-and-so player. 2016 started the turnaround, and now they're once again a pretty quality product. Now, as far as stud hitter went, I was really between three options. One being Bryce Harper, who in a loss to the Nationals, um, reached base five times, walking three times. Larry Garcia from, from the White Sox, who went 4-5 or five at the plate. But the pick is going to be Juan Soto from the Nationals. He went 3-4, for four, two runs, three RBI, a double, a home run, and a walk. He was only a triple away from the cycle. This card is a bit of a throwback. It's kind of surprising that you know he began the year in the minor leagues last year. Not only in the minor leagues, but this 2018 Topps Pro Debut has him for the single-A Hagerstown Suns, low-A ball that he was able to work his way all the way up to the majors in just one year and almost make it to the Rookie of the Year if it wasn't for Ronald Acuna, who had a phenomenal season. He probably would have been last year's Rookie of the Year. As far as dud hitter goes, again, you heard me say it in the intro, Willie Adames just can't seem to get out of his own way. 0 for 5, 3 Ks, 4 left on base. Could have gone Ben Gamble, Scott Shebler, Yomer Sanchez. But another surprise, 
Javier Baez is going to be the dud of the day. Um, from the Cubs, they lost 6-4 to to the Braves. He went 0-5, three strikeouts, five runners left on base. The Cubs just can't seem to get it going. There's still a long season to go. I highly doubt we'll see Baez on the duds again. We may even see him on the studs list. Most duds seem to have a phenomenal game the next day. So let's keep an eye on Javier Baez. I appreciate you all tuning in to Studs and Duds. Now let's see what we got from Collector's Cove. I went to Collector's Cove one more time, as I tend to do when I'm on my lunch break from work. They always, again, just have amazing stuff. James was in there, took really good care of me today, really helped me out with a few things, including, yep, the 1984 insert series. But the first thing I want to hit on is something that came in the mail today. I won a contest over at Missouri Cards. If you have not seen Missouri Cards' channel, please check him out. He does some awesome content, um, a lot of giveaways. Um, I won a spot in the 1990 upper deck. I'm just the bottom right in the box. So I got um, the star players and the rookie cards. There's just a lot of different stuff. Sandberg, Sandy Alomar. The stickers are included as well. Tim Raines, Sandberg again. Then the rookies, Kevin Tappany, Jose Alferman. I know we were looking for um, Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez. Didn't get those pulled out of the box. Bo Jackson. But, you know, definitely can't complain. Got some stars, some Hall of Famers, some rookies in there, some stickers. So head on over and check out Missouri Cards. I'll make sure to link his YouTube page in the description. I think he's at 52 subscribers let, um, as of right now. So let's try and get him up to 100 um, as quick as we can. He just does some awesome stuff. Definitely want to take care of our own. Also have been getting some things in the mail for consignment purposes with the Norfolk Tides starting up. If you have any cards that you'd like to get consigned for Tides players or people coming to town, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Like for example, this one that came today was a Jack Reinheimer Custom. And which he's our starting shortstop for North right now. Which, thinking of Norfolk, by the way, happy minor league opening day, everyone. I uh, hope your hot dogs be only a dollar as often as they can be. Your evenings be sunny and warm. And the autographs and foul balls be plentiful. So while I was at Collector's Cove, as I said, I got some singles. I asked if they had any of the 1984 inserts and they were in the process of sorting some things so they helped me out they had a lot of what I needed Jeter, Toussaint, Roberto Alomar, Anthony Rizzo, Justin Verlander, Eddie Rosario, Aaron Nola, Chris Bryant, Trey Turner um, so that's a lot right there at the end of the video I will post an updated list of the ones I still need in case anybody has them and wants to trade I got this Max Scherzer from 2000 18 opening day um, my wife and I went to the home opener last year so I wanted that card thought it was pretty cool um, the blue parallel from opening day got a couple Nicky Delmonico's he's opening the year with Charlotte so I thought I'd be able to get those maybe get them signed when they come through town I'm not sure how much more Delmonico I have that was also the thought behind the Carson Fulmer and then some of these Tyler J Jemai Jones these are um, going to a guy I know that's in Alabama who I do a league swap with. So he helps me with the Southern League and I help him with the Eastern or with the International League because I'm a Hokie guy. I got Tyrod Taylor. This is from 2018 certified. I know a lot of you don't do football. I usually don't unless it's a Hokie. And this is numbered 44 out of 499. So I thought that was really cool. Okay, my phone was having an issue. So I'll try and pick up right where I left off. This was with the Joshua Lowe. This is another one I think I can just get signed down the road. Brent Honeywell, again, as he recovers from Tommy John surgery, he might come through the International League. Carson Fulmer. And then these two will be going down to the Southern League. Something else I got there 
<clears throat> they had some pretty good prices going on for some stuff from the last couple years. They didn't have any Donruss, but I did get a pack of 2017 Heritage High Number. They had this for only $3. So phenomenal prices. Make sure you head over and check them out on Facebook. You know, let them know if there's anything you're looking for. They're phenomenal guys. They'd be happy to help you out. Also got some 2018 archives. I just really like the design of these. I know there's only, I think, two hits in a box of 24 cards. So I'm not really expecting to get much there. Same with the Heritage. But you never know. Heritage, um, which I'll do after the archives, but this is specifically um, the big rookie here. Um, as you know, High Number has a lot of rookies, a lot of traded players. The big rookie you're looking for out of here is Cody Bellinger. Um, he also does have a base autograph as well. There's a lot of different inserts. Uh, short prints are one in three. Uh, actually, I'll show you the odds for that after I do archives. Archives is really good too. 2018 Archives does have Acuna, it has Otani, it has Soto. Um, a lot of good players in there. Um, there's the odds if anybody would like to pause. I'll also, as I get hits, you'll see right here on the screen, it'll be right here in the top corner. I'll actually overlay um, the odds so you don't have to go back and look them up. So let's see what we get in here. So I'm definitely pretty excited. They do have some older players in here as well. Kind of some throwbacks. So you get Jim Tomey. Sandy Koufax. I just really love the design. Good color. They're nice, just crisp design. Manny Machado from the Orioles. There's Nick Marcakis. And you get different year um, designs as well. Alex Verdugo, rookie. That's pretty nice. I think he could have a pretty good career. We'll see, especially if he gets more playing time. Everybody expects people to perform like Acuna or Soto did. And, you know, sometimes it takes rookies, you know, a year or two. There's a turn back the clock 20 years ago when McGuire hit 70 home runs. He was juicing, but, you know, it's an important part of history. Trey Mancini and Rugned Odor. It's not bad for first pack. Okay, so pack two of archives. We have a Yasiel Pui with the Reds now. Miguel Cabrera from the Tigers. It's a nice Derek Jeter. That's a nice card. I like that one. I'm sure there's probably some Yankees fans out there that would really like to have that. Nolan Arenado. Justin Bohr. Oh, here's a Sandlot card. Kenny Denunez. So that's nice. I know those are... um. I don't know in how many packs those are in, but, you know, I'll overlay that graphic for you all. Jose Abreu and Buster Posey. So I'll look real quick at the codes. As you all remember, there's codes here. Here they're 2-0. So you want to look um, for any short prints, things like that. Which as they come through, and I'm looking at all of them. I'll post that at the end of the video if I did pull any short prints. So now Heritage. These the short prints are easier to identify. Um, they'll be um, specifically numbered. Um, so if they're between a certain number, they're going to be a short print. Um, let me fold this back. Then you all can see the odds here as well. The cut signatures and heritage are pretty awesome. As you can see, they're one in 78,000, um, but they're pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. So let's see what we have here. 2017 heritage high number, Mike Miner. Brandon Moss. Hitting it up with the Royals so far. There's Eduardo Rodriguez from the Red Sox. Matt Joyce from the Athletics. We got a award winners, the Hank Aaron Award for David Ortiz. It's an insert that's pretty nice. Nick Ahmed, Jan Gomes from the Indians, Matt Bush from the Rangers, Andrew Kashner from the Rangers, 
and we're back around. So that Ortiz is pretty nice. I like that one. I like the Gomes. Wouldn't mind getting that sign now he's in DC. We'll look through here and see if we have any short prints. Doesn't look like we do. But overall, not a bad pack. We did get an insert out of it. 